Hi again, everybody. I'm Smart Ed, and it's time for another top tip. So we have one of our field training specialists with us. Smart Certified Jennifer Goldman is here, and you're going to show us uh, how to uh, customize a pen to whatever color and all kinds of other options that we might want. Is that right? That's correct. All right, we're going to slide up there. We're going to put the desktop down there and uh, have at it. All right, thank you. Okay. Well, first we're going to start in the notebook software by creating a new page by simply pressing on the third icon in the top left corner of the notebook toolbar. Here we have a new page. Well, if you notice on your pen tray, you do have some basic colors, black, red, green, and blue. But maybe I need a little bit more variety, so I want to create some alternative colors. You'll notice also in the toolbar that we do have a pen to choose from. In the middle, by simply pressing on the pen, we will see we have eight different options. The option that is highlighted now is the current color. Perhaps I want to change that color. I want to make it something more unique to my taste. So by making sure that it is grayed out and going to our Properties tab, Properties tab is located in the top of the toolbar and also to the right side of the notebook software. By pressing on the Properties tab, I see that I have some options. Let's go ahead and go to the line style because I am changing the color of the line. Now, I don't want to use that turquoise color. Perhaps I like orange. So I'm going to choose orange from my color palette. I also want to make it a little bit bigger so that I can change the thickness. I have the option of the drop down to change the dotted line to a hash mark. I can change the start and the stop to make it a straight line or something to add a little bit more variety. Make sure that when you're finished customizing your pen, you do change it so that you can use it over and over again. Now, to see the results of my customization, I can look back up by pressing on the pen tool and see that I do have the orange that is grayed out. Well, let's see what happens. And here I have it, a customized pen. So, uh, you're, are you telling me that uh, we can customize any of the pens up here? That's correct. All right, I, we're going to switch the monitors here, and I'm going to try one on my own. So, I have to make sure that I've grayed out one or selected one, and by, it's gray because I've selected it, right? Yes. Okay. So now, I'm going to go over here to the uh, Properties tab, and I'm going to use the one that's on the uh, top of the toolbar there. And uh, uh, I know it was purple before. We're going to select this yellowish-green color there for no apparent reason. We're going to make it uh, extra thin, and we're going to, uh, I'm going to change the line style to dots and dash. Oh, no, we'll go with all dots. And uh, I'm just going to leave the uh, start and the stop uh, alone. And now... If I don't press Save Tool Properties, will I have this pen at all? You'll have it for one use. One use. All right. So I might want it for more than one use. So I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to come back up here. My pen is already, the pen tool is already selected, but I'm going to select it to make sure that we're on the pen that I created. And we are. And that is some thin, yellowish green dots. All right. Uh, we, so uh, how, how many colors can we uh, select from here if we want to customize these? 16.5 million. 16.5 million. Yes, sir. You going to play the lottery with that? Not today. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for that tip. All right. You're welcome. Right. Well, that's it for today's top tip. I'm Smart Ed, and we'll see you again soon here on Smart Ed TV.